What's up, fanatics? So we're here in the fanatics kitchen because I've been doing a lot of stuff in here lately. Um, check out the videos. Yeah, I'm a remodeling kind of dude. I'm handy. Never knew I was, but apparently I am. Um, and today I'm going to be super handy with my Beeberry, Biberry. I don't know what it is. <laughs> my new knife, which I like and I use for everything. And we're going to talk about something and open up and look at something that I think is probably the coolest one that exists on the planet right now. And th this thing is awesome. And it's something that almost everybody needs. And if you stick around, you'll find out what it is. You probably have figured out what this is. And these are speaker stands. Everybody needs them. Everybody's got a pair, or three or four, or have or many. Um, I know I've got probably more than I need, uh, but I never had the right ones. Well, these are the right ones. So I was, you know, hanging out and talking with my buddies over at MoFi Distribution, and they front for a company called Solid Steel. This is an Italian company, and they make some of the most amazingly designed equipment that I've ever seen. And I, I've seen this on some other videos, and I was just green with envy. I mean, these things are just amazing. Well, I finally have a pair that I can now feature in my videos, and I am so super excited. So special thanks to, to MoFi for sending these over. I really appreciate it. Um, and we're going to open these up and take a look at them real quick today. Um, I've also got an awesome new uh, uh, shelving unit from them. We're going to do that another time, uh, but I'm super excited about that one. But honestly, this is the one I'm most excited about. So let's, uh, let's crack this open. Now, while I'm doing this and trying not to injure myself, because you guys know how awesome I am with knives, which is not awesome at all. Uh, you know, these come in, I think, three different finishes. And I think this is kind of a unique finish uh, because they come in black, right? And I mean, who wants black, right? Who would, who would use the most awesome stands ever made in black, right? It just boggles the mind. <laughs> um, but there's black. Um, but the finish that I'm really into is raw. And you might ask, what, what the heck is raw? Well, you're going to see what raw is maybe in a minute, if I can ever get this thing open. All right. Uh, this is where I'm going to play some music while I open this thing up so you guys can see what's going on and where I can focus and not kill myself with something. So we got two top plates. Some uh, pieces and instructions because I'm absolutely going to need these because I don't know what any of this stuff does. Before we go any farther uh, about talking about these stands, let's talk about this literature. Now on the front, there's a picture of what's called the Hyperspike uh, equipment cabinet, right? So it's a shelving unit and it is freaking amazing. I mean, this thing, this thing is awesome. I don't have one of these and I lust for one of these, but I'm not rich enough to really have one of these. Um, but I was told by John Durda, MoFi, I'm looking at you, John, that if I could get a D'Agostino amp in for review, he would make sure that I had a nice piece of equipment to set it on. Now, this is a challenge to D'Agostino. If you guys want an awesome review 
and will let me use a piece of equipment for like 30 minutes, you just let me know because <laughs> I'm down. Because this thing, if you guys don't have one of these, I mean, th I, this thing is just, it's beautiful. These are, I mean, these are awesome. My favorite stands ever. And this is tied for my favorite piece of shelving equipment ever. And it's just gorgeous. You guys have to check this out if you haven't seen it. I mean, I just, oh, links down below. You got to check it out. But okay, back, back to this thing. All right. Um, now these are tripods, which are really cool. Um, now they're not equilateral triangles. Um, I would say that this is, uh, this is an acute angle here, but it's isosceles. Um, and it's definitely meant to be pointed in a direction. All right, so a little letter. So let, let's read this to you so you can get the full experience. Dear music lover, you just purchased a pair of stands for bookshelf speakers, completely handcrafted and made in Italy. The first time this model was introduced on market has been in 1992. So thank you for your choice. Okay, so this is a odd translation from the original Italian. We recommend to pay attention on the product parts and to assemble it safely, keeping the spikes, the spheres, and the other materials away from children or animals. Also, do not forget to consider the surface of the floor. We always suggest to purchase our S series pads as accessories for decoupling the tips from the ground. This product is fillable with metallic powder in quotations. So is it, maybe it's not really metallic. I don't know. Um, before of screwing the top plates on the frame, put the metal spheres on the concave holes. Okay. 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 All right. Concave holes. Look at this. Boom. 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 Okay. Okay. So this is like a welcome letter and the instructions, but it's not like instructions written out like step one, step two, step three with Ikea. This is a little bit different. Um, uh, before the screw, before of screwing the top plates, if you watch my last video, there's been lots of screwing going on in these videos. You have to check it out. It's the one where I unbox the clip stuff. Go check it out. Um, Put the metal spheres in the concave on the concave holes. For any other information or details, visit solidsteel.italy. Um, the O-ring must be placed toward the steel frame. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this out. Okay. So the O-ring is the steel frame, and maybe this goes here, and this goes here. So it's like this little, I don't know, plastic uh, cylindrical thing. Want the mood to be right, keeping it low in the night, yeah. So long since I get a glimpse of a light, it's blurring out my eyes. Oh, oh, we should open up a window. Oh, oh, I can't see clear. Oh, oh, I know how to window, to window. Cause it's just my habit. I can't describe it. That's it. All right, so let's uh, let's go handheld. All right, so this is some kind of wood here on top. The bolt that we put in comes down into Mr. Plastic with an O-ring, and then it uh, mounts screws into here. Now this is the raw finish, so you can see the joints. This is spectacular. Oh, my knife, my knife, all right. But you can see the steel is, and when it says raw, it doesn't mean it's not finished. It is finished, but it's not like painted, so you can't see the weld marks and stuff. And this is, I think this is really cool.
the way this looks. You can see the, the ball bearings here, way up in the top. I don't think it's focusing well on them. Um, it's focused on that rear one, there we go. And then just a little bigger picture here for you. Focus, maybe, there we go. Oh yeah. And I present to you the SS7 speaker stands. These things are absolutely the coolest bar none speaker stands that exist today. They couldn't be cooler if they were even gold plate. Well, maybe they'd be cooler if they were gold plated, but I'll still take them just as they are because these things are absolutely stunning. Um, like, subscribe, ring the bell, comments down below. What do you guys think of these things? Are they cool? Are they worth it? Are they not? Um, I'm interested in your opinion. Let me know what you're thinking. But with that, we'll see you guys in the next video.